Has someone asked you to create a streamer user account so you can view a captioning or hear a translation of a meeting, a remote learning session, a live stream, or, well, any conversation? If so, then this video is for you. We'll show you how to create your account, how to get access to the streamer room where the captioning or translation is being displayed, as well as show you how to add private notes to the transcripts, and a bit more. Here are the steps we'll be covering and the time point in the video where they're discussed. First, let's create your user account. A user account is always needed to log into Streamer. The account consists of your username, password, and some parameters you'll select. Accounts are completely free and you can create as many as you want. To create an account, open a Chrome browser, go to www.streamer.center, and click on the login button. Then click on the create one link like this. The username is what others will see when you are using Streamer. You can easily change this name at any time. A Streamer username cannot have any spaces in it, so a common format is your first name and last name with a dot in between the two, like this. The email is only used if you forget your password and we need to send you a reset link. Select your preferred language. Again, this is easy to change later. The preferred voice is used when you want your words spoken aloud in a different language. This is the voice that will be used to do that. It is also used if you do not have the ability to speak and you want Streamer to speak for you. Again, this is easy to change later. For now, I'll pick Matthew. And the password needs to be at least eight characters long. There, now we've created the user account. Accept the terms and conditions, and that's it. You're now placed in your lobby. This is where you can see all the captioning and translation rooms that you have been given permission to use, which right now is only this open and public demo room. Let's move on to step two. In order to gain access to a room, you need to request permission from a person that owns the room. This may be your teacher, a person in your IT department, a pastor at your church, or a family member. You just need to provide them with the name of the user account you just created. That's all the information they need. If you know the name of their user account, then jump into the demo room and type the at symbol followed by their name and type something like this. That's how you send a message to someone, by typing the at symbol followed by their username and then the message. The at symbol is a special character that tells Streamer you're entering a username. When they reply, you'll see that shown here in the transcript, as well as up here in your messages page. If you don't know the name of their user account, then you can call them or send them an email. Streamer is completely private and secure. You cannot give yourself permission to use someone else's room. Only the owner of the room can do that. Okay, in this case John responded to my message. So now, when I go into the lobby, I can see the private room. By the way, what he did on his end is jumped into that room and typed the allow command. That gave me permission to use the room. Again, I can't do that by myself. Only the owner of a room can do that. We've covered the first two steps, now for the third one. To view the captioning, I just click on the room I want to use. There! To increase or decrease the font size, I use the Chrome Settings menu like this. Streamer remembers this setting, so the next time I log in, that'll be used. I can also change the color layout if I want. For example, if I'm using Streamer in an auditorium with low lighting, I'll use this command. That way my phone won't give off a bright glow. For this video, I'll keep the original setting, so I'll type forward slash set display bright. To view all the commands, click on the question mark up here. Okay, step four. With Streamer, you can easily add notes to the live transcript, tagging areas of interest. The notes are shown here in the side panel. 
If you don't see the side panel, open the streamer settings menu and select show side panel. Only the label of the note is shown. When I hover over that label, you can view the actual note that gets inserted into the transcript. To add a note, just double click and it's entered directly into your personal copy of the transcript. No one else can see your personal notes, only you. You can also edit a note before it gets entered. To do that, single click, then make the changes here in the command bar, and then click enter. And you can type brand new notes, just type it here. Click the toggle button and then the send button. If you do not click the toggle button, then what you type is entered into the actual transcript for everyone to see. That's really nice if you are using Streamer to speak for you. Let me show you real quick how to create your own note categories. To do that, open your account settings and then click on the phrases tab. To create a new note, enter the label here, the actual note here, and select a color category. When you save a transcript, the note is entered using the color you selected. So in this case, the note will be displayed using a gold font. Note that if you select black, then the note will blend in with the rest of the transcript, whereas if you use any other color, then it will stand out. That's it. I now have a new note that will be displayed in my side panel. Before leaving the account settings page, here are a few other quick items. This is where you can change your password, and here's where you can change your username. And this is where you can change your profile, such as your preferred language. And if you click here, you can add a picture. This picture, along with your name, is what people will see when you are using Streamer. In this case, I'll add a picture of myself. There, I'll close this browser window since we're done with the account page for now. And here in the side panel, you can see the note we just added. Okay, so far we've covered the first four items. Now I'll show you how to save a transcript. The owner of the room controls whether I can do that or not. In this case, I know John has given me permission. To download the transcript, I go to the Streamer Settings menu and select Download Transcript. I can select the time frame, such as today, the format, which in this case I'll use Microsoft Word. Remember that notes will show up in the transcript using the color you selected. And if I want, I can check this box. When I do that, Streamer automatically summarizes the contents of the transcripts into a few sentences and inserts that at the top of the transcript. I like doing that, and I usually select the short summary. There, I've now downloaded the transcript to my downloads folder. To have Streamer ask where you want to save the transcript, go to Chrome Settings, select Settings, and then at the very bottom, select Advanced. And then in the download section, activate this button. There, now I can use separate folders for different transcripts. For example, one for each class I'm taking, or a customer I'm working with. And now for the last item on our list, creating a desktop shortcut. To use Streamer, you can open a browser and log in. That's pretty easy to do. To make it even easier, jump into the room you'll be using most often, then go to Chrome Settings, hover over More Tools, and select Create Shortcut. For the name of the shortcut, I enter the room that I'm using. That's it. Now I can just close this window, and the next time I want to use Streamer, I just double click on that shortcut and I'm placed directly into my streamer room. That completes the items we wanted to cover. Here's a review. We showed you how to create your account, get permission to use a streamer room, view the captioning and translation, how to add personal notes to the live transcript, saving the transcript, and how to create a desktop shortcut. Now when you want to view a captioning or translation of your meeting or live stream, just double click on your desktop icon and you'll be placed directly in your room. And to add notes to the transcript, just double click on the note label in your side panel. And remember to save your transcript at the end of the meeting. 
There are a lot of other features you can use as well, such as sending private messages, sharing documents, taking photos, and translating conversations. For more information, open the help menu by clicking on the question mark up here. Or go to the streamer support page or the video tutorial page. Thanks for watching and for partnering with us in our goal of removing communication barriers throughout the world.